guys. So, I realized not too long ago that it's been quite a while since I've actually reviewed any kind of puzzle accessory. But it just so happened that whilst I was away on my trip, I got an email from a company asking, asking me if I'd be willing to review one of their new puzzle mats. So you know, I was like, yeah, of course, why not? Send, send me whatever you want. And it just so happened to be from the same person who sent me the Sonix mat that I reviewed not too long ago now, but now they've come out with a new mat and there's some changes to it. Now I've already opened this box and kind of gave you a little preview during my live video. And it looks like we have quite a number of good things going on here. The first thing I noticed right away was this comes with a nice like travel bag with the drawstring and everything in it. And it's pretty large, so you're gonna fit er everything in there quite nicely. And here we have the puzzle mat itself, which looks very similar to the last one we reviewed from, from Sonics. It also comes with puzzle sorting trays and it comes with six of them this time, which is nice. And we have a lot of other pieces here as well. And judging from the instructions, it looks like we have ourselves a tilted base for the puzzle mat, which is a very nice addition. So yeah, we, we got a lot going on here. So you know what guys, I wanna see what this whole puzzle mat is all about. So let's move on to the other side of the room and let's get started on this. All right, so let's get started with this. So this comes with six sorting trays that are made out of a thin felt like material. And all you have to do here is snap the edges together. Very straightforward. But these were quite small, so they're not meant for you to lay any pieces out or anything. It's just to keep your puzzle piles in order. Then we have our puzzle mat, which is held together by a nice thick strap with velcro ends to keep it all nice and folded together. Now when this is all folded up, it measures at about 10 by 13 by 3 inches. But once it's fully opened, it measures at 39 by 26 inches. What's interesting about this mat is that it has outlines for different puzzle shapes and sizes, and each one is labeled with their measurement and piece count, which for this mat was 500 to 1,500 pieces. So I thought that was a cool addition. It, it kind of helps you map out like the placement of your puzzle sections and whatnot. Of course, if your puzzle is of that particular size. Now, in order for your puzzle to stay flat, you have to install these U-shaped brackets on the folds. And I was happy that this came with enough brackets to cover all the folds. And that was an issue I had with the last one. You don't have to worry about any of the sides folding over and messing up your puzzle progress. And I felt like these weren't as stubborn to get on there too, so it was a super quick step. Now onto all this piping and green plugs, I guess you call them pegs maybe, I don't know. But you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is the adjustable stand. It does come with instructions and it's just one sheet. There's no words, you just follow the numbers and arrows. It, it's all pictures, which I know can sometimes be confusing and hard to follow depending on what you're putting together. And of course, how you tend to fare with instructions like these. For me, that's usually a hit or miss, but for this, it was pretty straightforward once I got myself organized and figured out what pieces were what. And it was all just a matter of screwing on and popping in the right pieces together. It did get a bit cumbersome at times the further you got through it, but once it was all together, it was all good. The stand does have these little pegs on the front end that keep the mat from sliding off it, and you can adjust this to a number of angles, up to 45 degrees. Now the only challenge I had with this was that it was a bit tricky trying to make sure it was evenly angled on both sides. And the chain links could have been a bit wider so that they fit in a little easier in the peg, but, but that's okay. In the end, we've got ourselves an angled surface. Now, with having an angled puzzle surface, you want to make sure your work isn't gonna slide off, right? So I did a number of tests with different brands. Now this works well when you just, you know, place your sections on it or as you're just like carefully puzzling on it. But once you start, you know, agitating a bit or, you know, start making some motions, it's, it's gonna slide off a bit. Not the most exquisite, excellent hold, but it will do as long as you're not messing with the board itself too much. And I did have it adjusted to the highest angle, so just be aware of that. Once you're done, it's an easy disassemble. You don't even have to pull the green end caps pegs off if you don't want to. 
And after folding the mat, I also decided to strap it together with the puzzle trays and the U-brackets just to keep it all together neatly in the bag, then stuffed in the rest of the pieces. And I even tried to see if it would also fit in a puzzle box in case, you know, you'd want to take this whole setup on a trip somewhere. And I was able to fit your, you know, typical standard size puzzle box in. You might even be able to fit another one in there if it's smaller, but you know, don't go crazy and overstuff it or you might end up tearing the bag or something like that. You'll, you'll end up having nothing in the end. But yes, it was nice to have everything all in one bag, all in one place. But anyways, with all this non-stop information that I just spewed out, is this really worth getting? All right, that was interesting. So let's just do a quick little overview and we'll start off with the likes. Now compared to the last one that I received, this one came with more sorting trays, which was nice. We got six of them this time. So to me, that's always a plus, especially since, you know, I'm a big sorter and all. Another thing I really liked was the addition of the bag. I do like how everything can fit inside it. You can even throw in a puzzle or two if you're going traveling somewhere. And not only that, you know, I feel like it's gonna keep my mat, you know, neat and tidy, especially when it's sat catching dust on my shelf. That bag is gonna keep the dust away. And the magnifier is a cool piece as well. You never know when you're gonna need it, so it's nice to have one handy. And in regards to the mat, I like how it does have six brackets. So you are able, as long as you position them correctly, you're able to keep it from folding over on you. You know, as long as you're not being a beast or anything. But that's a different situation. And the mat is a great size. I also really like how it, they added that touch of the measurements on it as well. I feel like that's a great way for you to kind of map, map out your puzzle sections and whatnot if you're not one to do the frames first or if you just decide not to do the frames first. But of course, that's as long as the puzzle you're working on is one of those measurements on the board. And as for the non-slip surface, well, it was okay. It'll hold, but you just gotta make sure that you're not messing with the board too much, as in knocking into it or anything, because that might make the pieces, you know, slide off a bit. You, you kind of have to be careful with it. And you guys know I'm not really a big fan of that fibrous feel on my non-slip surface, but you know, this one wasn't as bad either. But in regards to the tilting easel or the adjustable stand, I don't know, I'm kind of back and forth about it because I am glad that they did include something to, you know, angle your puzzles up. It's not just a flat board or a flat mat. But I did feel like it was a bit cumbersome at times when I was putting it together. And once it was all together, it was, it was okay. Honestly, it wasn't, you know, the strongest thing. It's just, you know, thin metal piping. So it's a tiny bit on the flimsy side, I have to say. You can't really put any pressure on it or anything because it's, it's just not strong. And another thing that I thought was a bit, you know, tricky for me at least was, you know, trying to adjust the angles. You kind of have to really make sure that you're doing it as evenly as possible on both sides of it. Just to make sure not one side is higher than the other. And honestly, the chain that they give you to, I guess, keep the angle in place, well, I've, I kind of felt like the hoops were a bit small. They could have been a bit wider so that you can get it in the peg a little better. And to be honest, even with that, I didn't feel like that was a very, you know, good, strong way to keep your angle in place. And for me, the lowest angle that you can have it at, again, to me, I felt like it was a little too high. I tend to work with my puzzles a bit at a lower angle, but you know, still, when you think about it, you at least get something this time to set your puzzle mat or your puzzle board on and you're able to angle it. And there were some extra upgrades as well compared to the last one, so that was good too. Now, if the company didn't send this to me, would I have bought this on my own? And to be quite honest, I, I don't know. And don't get me wrong, the whole setup is nice. The board is really nice as well and all the extras are great. But I feel like, I don't know, the, the easel kind of like was just still in my mind a little too flipsy for me. For the price, the quality isn't 100% there yet. But then again, this could be something that's great for someone who usually works on like a dining table or, or on a different surface other than like, you know, those fancier puzzle tables. And they need something to, you know, that has a non-slip surface and that they can angle. And it's probably still more affordable than a lot of the wooden puzzle tables that you see out there. 
And if you do have one of those wooden puzzle tables, you might only use this to lay on top of your table to fit, you know, bigger puzzles than what your surface measures to. And if you don't want or have space for a wooden puzzle table, you know, it's a good option if you're looking for something that you can very, very easily store away. You know, it can even be great for a beginner puzzler who's just looking to upgrade their puzzling space or their puzzling experience. But I'm still happy that I have this. So thank you MicePlay for sending this to me. And you know, I'm definitely going to use this to give me that extra space that I need for puzzles that are bigger than my table. So if any of you are interested in looking more into this puzzle board, or if you wanna pick one up for yourself, I'm gonna make sure to leave the link down below so that you can check it out. And I believe the last time I checked Mice Play store on Amazon, they've actually added a few more things in there, so be sure to check those out as well. But please let me know if any of you do have this puzzle mat and feel free to share your thoughts about it. And of course, feel free to let me know if there's any other cool puzzle things out there that I need to check out. But anyways guys, I need to put all my focus back on my latest adventure. Because it's getting scary, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna do that. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.